<laughs> G'day folks and welcome to the Newton Shred Show, episode 3. I'm your host, Alex Ireton, coming at you live from our shop located here in Sydenham, South East London. Uh, we're going to be catching up with events, products and some general news. I uh, just want to say a big shout out to Dan and Charlie from Bristol for putting me up and a couple of other London folk on the weekend. is much appreciated uh, because, and I'm going to get straight into, what's up? Um, there were two events that happened on the weekend. Uh, the first was the Dig Deep Outlaw on Saturday, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we turned up to a bit of a rainy <laughs> start to the session, as it were. It was uh, a lot of good fun though. The hell you could still kind of grip it in the wet and eventually there was an outlaw as well. And if I remember correctly, we had in the Groms, uh, Alan from London came in fourth. Some dude called like Richie Rogers came in third. Uh, some other dude called George came in second and uh, London, Greenwich Grom, Ruben came in first. And I think on the open class, you had Ruben coming in fourth. In third place, I believe it was Finn, and then we had Ollie Goodwin in second place, and it was uh, really cool to see Ollie because I hadn't actually seen him in a few months, and uh, apparently hadn't even actually I don't even think I've seen him in about a year even, and uh, he said he hadn't skated in ages, and yeah, he's still like on it like a rocket, and then uh, yeah, in first place, uh, a bit of a surprise for some folks, but it's great to see the guy there, Ben Stainer, congrats, man. That was uh, pretty fun to see you kind of smiling, goofing around all day and when people were surprised how hot you were on their asses, they just wiped out in the corners and stuff. <laughs> That's the kind of general feedback I was getting. Um, I did a bit of marshalling myself. I actually have a, should have a write-up and some photos on the blog if we're lucky today, if not probably tomorrow, so you can keep an eye out there. And uh, yeah, after that I went back to, uh, oh, should probably mentioned that it's good to see some of the Newton's family at Dig Deep such as Bodie Keane and Josh Monk and uh, obviously Dan Shinney was there as well myself and uh, obviously I, I went up with Will Edgecombe and uh, George Higgins from London to there. Uh, so on the Saturday night most of us retired back, at, to, back to Bristol which is uh, uh, not a crazy late night but everyone was pretty wrecked from having been up early, been skating in the wet and uh, <laughs> Even though we only stayed up till like one, I felt like I'd been up till six. So on the Sunday, it was a pretty cool uh, closed road session at Bridge Valley Road in Bristol. I've never actually been there before. It's a pretty sweet hill. The surface is a bit hit and miss, so I wouldn't say it's necessarily that great for free riding. But if you want to go fast on, it's not too bad at all. Actually, you get a pretty decent run and people were hooning it down on the weekend. Thankfully, from what I could see, there are no accidents. I should have some photos as well um, from BVR as well. So yeah, that's the weekend just gone. I had a blast. I'm, I'm actually still pretty tired from it. Um, and let's see, there's a few things going on this weekend. Unfortunately, I can't actually make any of them because I'll be up in Newcastle for some uh, unskate related business, uh, meaning an outlaw. <laughs> so first thing is on the Friday, there's Critical Mass here in London, which is a, a, like a protest kind of event that happens on the last Friday of every month. Basically a bunch of cyclists and anyone else who wants to get along on it, anyone who has wheels, non-motorised, they can join the movement as it were and it just randomly spreads throughout London, well not spreads, but it just randomly goes through London. So what I'd recommend is do not drive a car in London on the last Friday of every month because chances are you're going to be stuck in traffic for a while while thousands of cyclists and skaters or whatever just kind of pour past you and block all the traffic. So as it is, nearly Halloween, they're going to have a, it's basically the fancy dress edition as it were, expect to see lots of costumes. Uh, the meeting point is by the, which bridge is that? Okay, it's basic, basically it's by the BFI Cinema uh, on South Bank itself. Not the big IMAX thing, but the actual BFI Cinema on the South Bank. People meet at around 6pm and it normally kind of tends to leave at 6.30pm on a random route throughout the city. Uh, like I said, it is just a kind of general push around, so you know, just be comfy on whatever setup you have that you might come across some rough roads and you might come across some pretty sweet roads. You're going to see a whole bunch of the London Longboards crew there, and uh, yeah, we'll have some links in the show notes as well. 
Now, Saturday itself, the actual day of Hallow's Eve, there's going to be a Halloween jam at the Rom Skate Park. So that's on the 31st, which is a Saturday, and it's going to be running from 2 until 10 p.m. Now, that's at the Rom Skate Park, which is located in Romford, which is in London. It's a, an amazing 70s concrete bowl that still has nearly all of its original features intact. Unlike Harrow Skate Park, which was built around the same time, where lots of its really fallen into disrepair or it's been like sealed off rom is like fully open and it's it's pretty gnar there's there's pretty much hardly any coping on any of the there's actually no coping on any of the features uh you definitely recommend go checking out it's like moguls big performance bowl there's an actual pool that's so tight uh i've done double runs with james allen in there a few times it's, it's scary and fun uh there's like a, a slalom house and like a bank section it's like a a three or four leaf clovers, like a snake run and everything. It's pretty nuts. I recommend going to that skate park anytime you can, but especially on Halloween as I have like a barbecue and you know people in fancy dress, it's, it's generally a good vibe down there. I do recommend checking that out. So if you want to do something a bit more uh, gravity orientated, uh, like as in a bit faster, a bit more sideways, you should go to the Banditos Halloween Shred, also taking place on that Saturday, the 31st of December. This Saturday, by the way. And that's running from roughly 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is pretty much your kind of daylight hours anyway. So that's located at Bo Peep Lane in Sussex. Uh, I'm going to have links and everything in the show notes, so you're going to be able to find the event page and figure out how to get there. It's not too far from Brighton, a bit closer to Eastbourne, but yeah, it's basically on the southeast coast. So you're going to see some Newton's family members there. Maybe even some of the like legends like you know Pete Conley might show up. I wish I could make it. It's a pretty fun hill and if it's spotted it's super safe. Uh, it's kind of technical, it's kind of tight for when you're going really fast but it does open up in the one corner. But you have to make sure you're already entering into that corner on the right line or otherwise you're going to scrub out and hit a tree. <laughs> and let's see what else. Uh, that's all that I have for this coming weekend. I don't actually have anything for the following weekend. So please, if you have any like events or sessions coming up, do drop us a line, uh, either be it in the comments or an email or a message or something. And don't forget that, don't forget that if you want to stay up to date with events so you don't keep missing out or anything like that, please do subscribe to our show. You can subscribe on YouTube, you can subscribe on iTunes, like if you have an iPhone or an iPad or whatever, i whatever bollocks. Uh, you can also subscribe on the Stitcher app if you listen to any kind of other podcast and also on SoundCloud as well. You could follow us on there. So next up we have the hot shit section. This one's going to be pretty short this week. Uh, we have some TSG Pass helmets going really cheap. They're basically clearing out all the 2015 stock because 2016 is coming in, I think, February or March, and they're changing up quite a bit. There's a whole bunch of different colors. They're changing up how they do the carbon model. Uh, it's going to be like a different kind of molding process, and there's like a there's like a, a, a pro fiberglass version, which is in this new mold kind of system. Uh, so basically, we have the carbon... We have the current 2015 carbon passes reduced from 300 pounds to 240 pounds and the fiberglass ones from 190 down to 160. So yeah, these are limited. If you've been waiting for a while to get one, now's the time because you're not going to see them at these prices for a while because prices next year are actually increasing. I think we're seeing a 200 pound retail price on the fiberglass and if I'm not mistaken, I believe the carbon might be going up a bit as well. Uh, another hot shit element is that Venom have finally released their Cobra Core Cannibals. They're coming in two sizes, 72mm, 76mm. And I believe they're meant to be running them in 3 euros, although I've not actually seen the harder ones available. So it's going to be 76A, 78A and 80A. Um, now, I say they've actually released them. They've released them to the market. It's going to take a while for them to get into Europe. But as soon as they do, we're going to have them at Newton Shred. Uh, pretty soaked on that core. According to them, it's been reinforced with fiberglass, which I've not even heard about before. So, like, it makes it super stiff and apparently has no flex. So, yeah, we're going to see. Um, I've been pretty interested in big cord wheels ever since I loved skating fly wheels uh, from Maybach 11. But what kind of really not necessarily let them down uh, was just the fact that the classic urethane is, like, pretty fast wearing. So even though it takes actually a while to get to the core, you still, before that, you lose quite a bit of urethane quite easily. You don't necessarily have the braking power that you might necessarily want. 
So this year I've really been enjoying the the Colt Raptures and 75 and 73A. I've not even tried the 77 just because the other ones have been so much fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll be interested to check out the uh, the Venom Urethane on a new nice big core really. So yeah, yeah, pretty stoked on that. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll have them by Christmas. So stay up to date. We'll probably announce on the podcast when they're shortly due to arrive or when they actually land. So that's page one done. Okay. So moving on to our next section, dishonorable mentions. And uh, I think I might even have a jingle for this next week. So Newton's family member Sam is still on tour in Spain with his fellow original team rider, uh, teammate slash rider Andrei Churikov. They've already been Barcelona and they've met up with uh, our good old friend Axel Surratt and apparently on day one they filmed 68 gigs worth of footage and I'm like, how the fuck do you do that? I know like Sam shooting on like a Canon C300, does that even do like 2K or anything like that? I mean really, it's, it's pretty nuts. Um, so yeah. We'll be sure to see some more of that kind of stuff uh, as they get back and as they get through all their editing as well as some of the other bits from Sam. And now we actually ran a little contest on our blog. Uh, you may have seen this if you, uh, if you liked us on Facebook or you follow us on Instagram. Basically we had a little competition to see which of the best uh, comments from this blog post would win a set of Zella ceramic bearings. And this is the one. I'm going to read out the uh, the comment and I'm going to say who it's by. So we, re we basically just asked like what kind of setup would you put these bearings on and why would you use them and I'd pick out the best answer. And this one just made me laugh quite a bit. These will go on my Madrid Trap Star of 5020 PL trucks and rad advantages. I would, do these, I would use these bearings over others because I'm 99% sure that they'll make me all more aero so I can win every event. They will probably make me stronger as well so I can beat up that kid Jimmy for stealing my lunch money at school. I will also use these magnificent bearings to destroy the patriarchy and end global warming at the same time. James Gunn, you good sir, have won, if I can actually get ah, they're right behind me, a set of Zella ceramic bearings. Wow. I'll be in touch to get your address and stuff and uh, we'll get them sent out to you this week. So yeah. Let's pop those back there. Uh, just some other kind of mentions. I got a few bits uh, before we finish up for the day. Uh, I've seen some good road porn lately. Uh, big Mountain Skate, the crew who've been bringing us loads of events in Europe, name, namely around Austria and Slovenia this year, have showed us some photos of the new Almud pre track for 2016. And when Sebastian Hurtler says it's fucking sweet, you know it's a nutty ass track. Uh, they've showed us big sweeping corners with steep ass drops and amazing views. Uh, yeah, just oh, so good to see uh, Stefan Reich and the BMS crew going out there and you know checking stuff out. And so it's like next year, gonna go race. Pretty cool video I caught a glimpse of quickly was on the Nelson Skateboards Facebook page by uh, Phil Scar. I'm not sure who actually filmed it, it might have been Alex Armin, it was a pretty good follow run actually. Uh, the first section is super tight and technical, he's just blasting sandies into it like crazy. Uh, another video recommendation, this one's a bit more serious. Uh, on YouTube uh, there's a video called Epically Palestined and it's basically uh, a short documentary focusing on a bunch of skaters living in the West Bank basically in Palestine and it's pretty harsh conditions they're already living under. It's a fairly conservative society but on top of that there's effectively a military occupation and yeah dude one of the messed up moments is like one of the skaters who like had actually been like shot in the leg by some soldier uh, and he was just like fuck man I'm never going to skate again and, but yeah definitely recommend checking it out. It's uh, a very interesting perspective on a subculture within something that's actually a fairly oppressive um, culture, <laughs> as it were, uh, or like you know atmosphere. It's it's good to see like skating really kind of helping people kind of get out of those situations or to give them other kind of trains of thought and outlets. It's definitely worth checking out. Then at some point this week, George Higgins tagged me in this post, which was. Uh, a video for a tech slide event from Brazil and it, I think it was like eight or ten minutes long but 
every few minutes my mouth was just like agape and dropping to the floor. There's like some chick doing like 360s and like putting a back foot off at the last section and stuff. And then some people busting out some like crazy 540 like nose blunts and stuff. I'm just like, <laughs> absolutely nuts. Uh, I was so stoked to watch all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should get my tech slider out again and stuff and take it to the hills. Man, I've had more time to skate, uh, if only. So yeah, I'm gonna put links to everything I mentioned today in the show notes, so don't worry if you wanna figure out where all these events are, all these videos, any of the kind of hot stuff products. Just go to the show notes and they'll be in there or you can go to our blog on our website and uh, everything's there, no worries at all. So yeah, I really appreciate Really appreciate all your feedback that you've been giving us so far and stuff. It's uh, really, it keeps me stoked, makes me want to kind of do this, kind of holds me accountable. I've already had somebody like recently saying that they're already waiting for episode three. I'm like, oh man, I'm a bit late that, aren't I? <laughs> so I'm going to try and get these out on like either Monday evening slash Tuesday day. And uh, so yeah, but yeah, please make sure to drop us a comment on YouTube and Facebook, wherever you watch this. Uh, if you are listening to this on your iDevice or whatever as a podcast, please do drop us a rating and a review on there. It really helps. Uh, right now, there aren't really hardly any kind of skate podcasts out there. There's, there's like a handful, but for our kind of like areas where there's not really anything that I've seen, there is uh, the deck cast, which was started by Tommy Watson, but they managed to get up to three episodes and unfortunately it kind of dropped off. So. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, this is kind of like more for the UK and Europe and whatever, whatever I can kind of get to, wherever I can kind of get to. So yeah, so don't forget, you can get the show any which way you want. We're on SoundCloud, we're on iTunes, which means any of your iDevices, you just open up the podcast app, you can find us there, search Longboard or search Newton Shred. You can find us on Stitcher. Uh, if you want to watch this as a video, you can... Uh, yeah, you can find it on YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo, although I need to upgrade Vimeo because it's currently limiting uh, how much we can upload a week. And you can also read about this on our blog. Uh, so yeah, you can find us on newtons-shred.co.uk. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, I'm not around this weekend at any events, but I'll be up in Newcastle. I'll probably take a skateboard. Uh, if you are around there and you do want to have a sesh or something, please drop me a line. I might be able to come skate with you for a bit. And until next time, take care folks, bye bye.